It's an ML Sports Take here from Rosie's Corner. They're open all day here at Rosie's for pizza, wings, hot and cold subs, and more. I just ordered one of the most underrated menu items at Rosie's Corner. It's a pastrami on rye, almost like a Reuben kind of deal, but you get it with the pastrami instead of the corned beef, made exactly the same way. I get the no sauerkraut, but Jody and Jason can hook you up with all these kind of specialty sandwiches both hot and cold. Of course, you can try the meatball bomber, the chicken parm sub. You can try gold fever and garlic parm wings to go with your pizza order as well today. And oh, by the way, gift cards are available for every occasion as well here at Rosie's Corner, Route 11 in front of the Brewerton Bridge as you get off the Bartell Road exit in Brewerton. And don't forget, Rosie's can cater your lunch and business events as well daily as they get going for their fall campaign, which of course will have the comfort foods returning right around that, you know, post Labor Day, be on the lookout for it, Instagram, Facebook, etc. I'll be sharing everything as well. The meatloaf Monday, chicken and biscuit Wednesday, and the turkey slop Tuesday, right in between as well. Of course, fish Friday coming up in a couple days here at Rosie's and they'll have the fish available tomorrow as well. Jazz Chisholm, I've been doing a bunch of videos today on the Yankees thrilling extra inning victory last night uh, a bunch of people tuned in on the Instagram side today as well and you know as far as contracts are concerned and money and this and that and the other thing Jazz Chisholm's making about 2.6 million this year now the Marlins are responsible for for about 1.7 of that which is crazy to think about when you think about you know the Yankees paying about nine hundred twenty five thousand dollars for this guy already he's made uh, you know, the Yankees have gotten their money's worth out of this guy. Four home runs in the first three games. He's played high-octane teams, rivalry games uh, against the Red Sox. Uh, got there at Fenway just in the nick of time. He played center field and third base already. He's versatile. He hits for average and power. He's fast. He's got swag. He's got awesome personality in the clubhouse. You can hit him anywhere in the lineup, first, fifth, seventh. So all of those things that you need for this team that has a lot of holes and a lot of wasted time, guys, with whether they're healthy or not, Stanton, Rizzo, LeMahieu, Torres, all these guys who are complete disasters, Chisholm really does provide a spark in a lot of different ways. And when you look at the contract structuring, he'll enter arbitration, arbitration two, arbitration three, and he won't be an unrestricted free agent for a few years. So that team control favors the Yankees to a degree unless he does pop to the to, to the extent this year where he may go for five to seven in his first arbitration year, million dollars, that is. So the Yankees will have to play with fire a little bit there as well. Arbitration can get pretty ugly in Major League Baseball between player and team, team and player, but we don't know what he's going to do. We don't know if the sustainability is there. But right now, as far as winners of the trade deadline, I don't know if I'd put the Yankees at the top of the list or a top three or five. I gave those out earlier on Instagram Live. Love what the Mariners did. Love what the Cardinals did. Love what the Mets did. Love what the Royals did, of course. But if you take a single player, a single acquisition, I know Leiter came over as well for the Yankees, but a single player in the first few days, you could argue Chaz Chisholm has had the biggest impact. Now, you know Tommy Pham hit a grand slam for the Cardinals last night. The Padres beefed up a lot, especially in their bullpen, although they had to give up a ton to get those guys. But I'm loving so far looking at Chaz Chisholm, looking at all the boxes he checks for this Yankee ball club, and it will be fairly interesting, right, to see not just short-term right now, the first games against Boston and Philly, again, major, major ballparks, Fenway Park and Citizens Bank, unbelievable fan bases, proud, proud fan bases, uh, they heckle you, they harass you, they're passionate, right, he goes right into the fire like that, it's different playing as a Yankee in those atmospheres than it is playing for the Miami Marlins, let's be honest, and hey, if you're a Yankee fan, head tip to Derek Jeter, who told Brian Cashman and his cronies he's a must-have, right? Not that you had to have Jeter uh, tell you that, but it helps a little bit because the guy was in the front office as an executive working with Chaz Chisholm, of course, before he quit. Brian Cashman is a complete moron as a general manager, and that's why I was stunned that he had the cojones to go out and trade the prospects that they did to get Chaz his Chaz. Jazz Chisholm. I would have gone one step or two steps further, and I've said this a million ways this Sunday, because you don't know if you're going to have Juan Soto beyond this year. I would have traded everything and anything in the farm in order to get another bullpen guy or two bullpen guys and another position player and probably another starter. If that means Spencer Jones and Peraza and a couple other guys, trade all of them. In fact, I would have traded maybe even a John Carlos Stanton to Pittsburgh. Call him, hey, you want this guy for basically free? We're going to pick up all the money for him the rest of the way. You guys need bats. You need power. You need to uh, uh, balance the unbelievable rotation led by Paul Skeens with some power, with some 
hitting for average. Take Stanton, we'll pay for the whole thing. Give us a couple of mid-level pitchers back out of double A, and then ship those guys back out the door with the likes of Jones and a couple others too. I don't know where. It doesn't matter. Figure it out. Brian Cashman has been the GM of the Yankees too long. You know what? Figure it out, dude. Get rid of at least prospects. Maybe you call the Jason Dominguez down the line this season. They probably are still hoping for that. But this Chisholm deal, it blocks a little bit of Torres, and you saw some of the Glaber Torres attitude about, well, I don't want to go over to third base. I don't. Oh, don't worry, dude. You already have cried a river. And Jazz Chisholm said, guess what? I've never really played the position. I'll go out there and play there. Well, he plays the hot corner last night, and he snags a Trey Turner rocket and throws him out. Jazz Chisholm, there's no crying for Jazz Chisholm. Maybe this also signals, hopefully, please, the end of Glaber Torres, a guy who the Yankees should have traded last year when his value was higher, the year before that when his value was higher, because the guy's been a complete bust since he came over in the Araldis Chapman trade from 2016. Remember, the Yankees clean house that year. They traded Chapman to the Cubs. They traded Miller to the Indians. Both of those teams make the World Series. The Cubs beat the Tribe in a seven-game thriller. All these prospects who came over, really none of them have worked, right? And the Yankees thought that they'd be added to the Severino, Sanchez, Judge, you know, combination or, 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 or potpourri of players, whatever you want to call it. Well, only Aaron Judge has worked out, and then the Yankees, to keep Aaron Judge, had to bid against themselves as opposed to giving him a below-market contract. See Acuna with the Braves. Cashman had to go way up, 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 and up the ladder to get Aaron Judge to say he, he had to take a little bit less money to stay with the Yankees, you know, compared to the Giants and all that. Brian Cashman mostly is clueless as a general manager. I've said this before. I think that they should have even done more than Leiter and even more than Jazz Chisholm. I would have gone to Colorado, get Quantrill, get McMahon, go over to the next place and the next place, go over and get as many guys as you can and make it happen because you don't know how long you're going to have Juan Soto and you've got to get back to and try to win a World Series for the first time since 2009 and the number one guy who's going to help you do that is Juan Soto who's clutch. We've seen him do it in the postseason with the Nats before. Let's see more surrounding Juan Soto but for at least the short term, very short term for a few days against two trademark teams and the Red Sox and the Phillies. I think the Phillies are the best team in baseball. They made some moves as well at the deadline that I like, shoring up the depth of the bullpen. Jazz Chisholm seems to be a guy who check, check, checks all those boxes for the New York Yankees. Speed, average, power, uh, you know, speed on the bases, uh, average and power at the dish. You've got him playing third, playing center field, multiple positions, the swag, the confidence, uh, the appreciation of the history, the clubhouse personality, all the stuff you might need. You can hit him first and fifth and seventh, anywhere you want in the batting order. Right now, tune it up play the jazz music in the Bronx. They haven't even gotten home. Can you imagine the standing O he will receive from the Bronx faithful when the Yankees return home? By the way, today an afternoon game for the Yanks and the Phils, and then the Yanks have the day off on Thursday. It's an ML Sports take here from Rosie's Corner. Pizza, wings, and all those awesome underrated sandwiches. I'm telling you, the pastrami on rye, the meatball bomber, you can get a grilled cheese here. Try the classic burger, the stuffed shell, some of these summer comfort foods before we get into the fall season with the chicken and biscuits and other things like Meatloaf Monday returning. Gift cards available for all occasions. Support Rosie's Corner, support local here in Brewerton. Route 11 in front of the Brewerton Bridge it's, as you get off the Bartell Road exit. They've got it all here and oh yes, desserts, chocolate milk, sodas, uh, everything you need, your drinks and chips to go with your sandwiches. Rosie's Corner is a proud associate sponsor of the ML Sports Platter. Go find them on Instagram and Facebook. Follow their pages as well. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.